So for those of you that are young or that really just don't know what to do, I am going to walk through a simple step-by-step -step painting with you. So get your paper out and get your pencil. I just have a little mechanical pencil right here. So we are going to work with red and green and we are going to create a picture of an apple. So what we're going to do is we're going to start apples are round out. The beauty about apples is that they're all different shapes, so it doesn't matter if it's perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, they have a roundish top and then they come down a little bit and then we're going to see that they have just these little bumps on the bottom. Okay, so bump, bump, bump. All right, and then up top they usually dip in and they have what my daughter calls the belly button. So we're just going to put a little smiley face up at the top there. And out from the top, out from that piece, we're gonna just pop up with a little stick. Okay, and then we're going to add our little leaf there. Okay, and I'm for you know, I'm gonna add a little leaf on the end too, just because I feel like it. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our background and I am going to create a green background. So I, I want it a little watered down. I don't want it too crazy. I just wanna create some texture. So I'm going to put a little bit of water right here and I'm going to soak up a little bit of the paint with the water. Now I'm going to use a hatching effect. So I'm just going to crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. Now with paint, you can feel free to go over your picture a little bit. Now see, we can still see our lines not going crazy on it but we are just adding in here we go and all the way around okay more crisscross 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 okay now we have an apple so we are going to have a shadow what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of my red and grab a little bit of my green and mix it up. And we are going to have the brown. So I'm going to use that for my shadow. So right here along the bottom, I'm going to crisscross a little bit more green into that brown, just cause I don't want it to pop out too much. And I am going to make just a little shadow down there. Okay, and there we go. So I have my little shadow. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize this brown, add some red to it, and I'm going to start painting in my apple. So we're going to start at the bottom here and I'm going to use that brown red to come down and draw in those little bottom feet there okay just like so then I'm going to take my red add a little bit more red to that brown I'm going to paint that in now, because it's round, I'm not going straight across. I'm making round movements with my brush. So I'm going to dip it in again, and I'm going to go around the apple, around the apple, okay? And I'm going in stages, all right? So we've got our little feet down here still, I'm going around and around. Now I'm going to add some water so I want it to lighten up a little bit. So I'm gonna come up to the smiley face rim here. Now, since we're not working with white or anything like that, I'm going to use the water to change the look a little bit. Okay. All right, now I'm just going to go a little bit on the outside and bloop, bloop, bloop. Along the top there. 
Now, see we have our little, what my daughter calls the belly button. We're going to get a little bit more of the green, a little bit more of the red. We're gonna make that brown again. I'm going to fill in this little space right here. And you can use a smaller brush. Um, I'm just using a big one for the sake of time. Our videos only last so long. Okay. Dip in. Now I'm gonna go back for some of this brown here. And I'm going to really focus on a shadow line. Just give a little bit more of that depth and more of a shadow there. Okay, now oh, here we go. I'm going to flatten out my brown here. Flatten out my brush, sorry, and pick up my brown. I'm going to put a line up my stem, like so. And now I'm going to grab my green. And my brush is getting a little, little fray happy here. Okay, and like so. So right there is your apple. Give it a shot, see what you think. Feel free to add some more green to the background. Feel free to add a little bit more of a rich color. Follow it step by step, give it a try. I know that was quick. I know that wasn't a full lesson. That's just a step by step that you can follow along with. All right, well guys, I hope you enjoy this opportunity and let me see your pictures when you're done. I look forward to seeing them. Well guys, being new to uh, making videos, I made a rookie mistake and I realized that my hand was covering the apple the whole time on the first part of this video. So I wanted to add a little bit to the very end so that you guys can see what I meant by the round strokes or the C-shaped strokes that I'm making to create the round shape of my apple. So here we go. You will notice that coming up here in a second, I smeared my paint. This is an important thing to remember accidents happen. Art can be flexible. It's what you make of it. Don't just throw it away because you splotch something. Extend it out a little bit. Create something new out of it. Don't stress it. Yes, sometimes you have to start over, but otherwise give it a go and see what you can do without having to completely start over again. So this is your apple step by step with the actual details that you can see. I will try to do better on that next time. So anyway, that's about it have fun and post your pictures. Don't forget to keep following the page for future challenges and assignments.